So, I just plugged in the, the ham clock thing. I guess it's doing an update. Um, I had this idea. I was like, hey, let's let's take this TV that's been sitting over here on top of my guitar amplifier. And we'll put it over here. And we'll hook up this over here instead so I can actually see it. Um, it's a little bit too big, but it blocks some other stuff. But it, it's cool. There wasn't anything useful sitting over here. The only problem is the windows right here. So the light shines across and makes it hard to, to read it. But uh, I was just moving some stuff around. So I'm <clears throat> just waiting for the ham clock to do its update on the Raspberry Pi. And then I also have this camera that came from Dave with all the printers. I guess he was using something, you know. So we're going to try and see if we can get that to work too. I gotta reorganize some stuff up here, but um, there's the ham clock up and updating. All right, so it's updated itself, and um, it's up and running. So it's just sitting here up on the shelf, and I can see it really good if I look up, but it's not in my face either, so that's what's another good thing. Um, the screen resolution isn't quite correct because I had it on a different TV. Um, this is, I don't know what size TV this is. 32 and it was on a 40. And apparently it remembers that. <clears throat> so, um, I probably could just put the 40 inch TV over here anyways because um, I'm going to move that MFJ tuner. And, um, the, uh, other stuff over here, I don't know, uh, but it won't really matter because I'm blocking it either way, no matter which one I use. So either I could use this one or use that one, but no, I, I tried to configure the, um, the Raspberry Pi to not time out, but, um, it, uh, I, I did some line code that, you know, tells it to, uh, not go to sleep. Uh, and it looked like it worked for a little while and then all of a sudden it was back to its usual. So what happens with these is like, you, you have it on right now, well, it will stay like this for a while and then the screen will go blank when you don't use it. So, um, but what is nice about the ham clock is it's like a Geochron, but I think it's probably better. I don't know, actually, I've never used a Geochron, so I don't know, but, um, <clears throat> you just, uh set this thing up on a uh, Raspberry Pi and just let it run. I mean, like it, you know, you don't need much. And you can also uh, use it as a regular, you know, Raspberry Pi. Um, I can't remember. I uh, have the mouse here. So I guess if we go here, so this is ham clock. And then that's our, our desktop. So if we, like, really wanted to, to use this for something else, I think there's, like, um, other stuff on here. You have Internet Chromium. Uh, image viewer so it's actually pretty cool so uh, I've never actually tried to use the internet on it um, I don't think ham clock will run without the internet or you know it won't display very much information I don't know how fast a Pi 3 runs to be honest with you guys um, it looks like possibly pretty slow And say not real fast. Let's see. I don't have a, a keyboard hooked up to this either. Ham clock. So as you like the PDF, you can read how to use it and all that. Um. And there's lots of information on the, the internet about ham clock. So if you have a Raspberry Pi and you're not using it to do anything and you have an old TV that you're not using, um, this is an awesome a way to use it. So anyway, I'll catch you guys later. And uh, who knows what we'll have. Uh, it's Friday, so some weird stuff's probably going to be on the radio. We'll catch you later.